Johan Chiru is a Swiss international defender who has played nearly 100 games for Arsenal FC. He has faced and beaten Lionel Messi's Barcelona and played in the world's greatest football tournaments. After 10 years in North London, Jojo has embarked on a new adventure across Europe. Welcome to Juru in Germany. Hello guys, welcome to my world. New boy, new girl. Jojo and family have made the big move from London to Germany and have made us their new best friends. Their unit is strong and they love spending time together. But let's not forget, Joe is a working man and his work takes serious commitment from all. Six days a week, sometimes twice a day, come sun, rain, sleet or snow. Top level training is the core element of Johan's day job. Switching clubs is a common aspect of any footballer's life. So what's life like as the new boy? Is Joe's head getting dunked in the toilet? Or is Joe cool handling the pressure? We joined him on the way to work. It's always a new start and let's say tough when you when you move club and you don't know anybody. But it wasn't a problem to get here and to get to know the new guys and uh, and they are to be honest, it's like it's a very good atmosphere in the team. You know, everyone is uh, is cool. They don't really take themselves too seriously and. Uh, that's what you need when, you, when you're a new guy. Joe had been at Arsenal since he was 16 and formed strong bonds with his teammates, becoming friends with Alex Song, Robin Van Persie and Cesc Fabregas, amongst others. Alex and I had a, had a, had a very strong connection and from the, from the start and until now, you know, I think that um, we're always very close, you know, and on, on the pitch and even outside, always trying to, to stay together. Song left Arsenal for a new life in Spain, and this had ramifications for Mimi too. I have a, a, a very good friend, but she lives in, in Barcelona now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, the Olivia, the wife of uh, Alex and Song. And yeah, she just lived London uh, so one year ago. When you have arrived somewhere, you have to start a new life. And you, you used to, to do something with your friends here, and after that, your friends leave. And you leave too, because now we are in Hanover. So now Joe has a new set of friends, and although their names may not be quite as familiar as at Arsenal, they are still a great bunch of guys. A new, a new mam I knew DJ Yakonan. I've, I've, I've heard of Karim Hagi and, uh, and other players, but and Mario Egiman, of course, I knew him because we play in the same national team. The whole adventure has felt like a fresh start for Joe. It's a new, it's a new kind of training for me, but you know, you're a footballer. I'm a young guy, and I and I did adapt quite well, so it's good. Johan runs on average 10 kilometers a game and has to be at the peak of his physical condition. Players' bodies are prone to injuries and Joe himself has suffered his fair share. Recovery time is at a premium. The games come thick and fast, as many as three a week if you're playing in Europe. Joe recently traveled to Russia to play against Samuel Etu's Anzi Mahachkala. The travel and dedication to staying as fit as possible have become part of Joe's life. Run, Juro, run. Hanover conduct open training sessions and Joe's Champions League and international experience combined with his Arsenal pedigree means the fans are keeping an expectant eye on him and he has to give it 100% all of the time. I think Juro is a good player for Hanover 96. Johan Juro is good. Thank you. Sie haben gut gespielt. Juro is good. Oh man, it was tough today. A lot of running after a little game. You could see the pace of the game was like dead because everyone was, was tired after a day off. So now we're just chilling a bit, a bit of treatment and back home. Coming from a club like Arsenal, Jojo is used to the spotlight. And there's no denying it breeds competition, even against your own teammates. Nothing like a friendly penalty shootout with your strikers, followed by a bit of, shall we say, friendly banter. Penalty taker, you know, that's me, man. No problem. I'm chilling. That was good. The competition with the strikers. 
I scored my penalty, so good. Shouldn't the loser carry the balls back? There's not only the physical requirements of Jojo's life, there are also the emotional demands. His sweetheart Mimi loves London, but has had to leave her way of life behind, for now. I like everything because it's so big and, and you can just, you have just a lot of things to do there. And, um, and you can, I don't know, you, you never, you never, you, you never finish to know London, you know? One of her favourite places in London is Camden Town, the world-famous alternative centre of fashion, food and music that also gave us Amy Winehouse. The atmosphere, you know, it's very, it's very cool. Everybody uh, are different and the, the vibes here, it's different. It's just like, it's like another town in London, you know? It's so different to another. I think in, in London, here in Camden Town, you can find old style. It's, I think it's too big, no? Mimi and her friend Virginie have taken their kids, Lulu, Aliani, Kemi and Malaika, on a shopping trip. They have been friends for five years, and Vivi is the wife of Costa, MD of Johan's Foundation in Senegal, and one of the closest people in his circle. Alors je vais dans le magasin de chaussures. I found a shop to look for shoes for my son. Pour Kemi. For Kemi. Unsurprisingly, the shop assistant was eager to help our two lovely ladies. Mais il y a juste ça. Pour ceux qui sont tout en haut. Tu veux pas tous ceux qui sont tout en haut? She may only be three, but Lulu already has an eye for fashion. Lulu, look. I bought the, the same one than you. For me. That's cute, no? It's at this age you can wear, you know? Like pink color or no my age, but I bought. <laughs> Alors? Aliani is not too far behind. She's already making her own fashion choices. Oh. Time apart is inevitable for Jojo and Mimi, but their bond is strong and they've managed to nurture a loving relationship. Firstly, you've got the mum next to it, Emily. Love of my life. Well, Johan has been raised in Switzerland, but he still has this African side as he loves people, he loves the world. And with Mimi, he found a wife who is keen to share, who is generous, who loves to entertain family and guests. They like to laugh together. I find her very, very close to her partner because she follows him. He can switch clubs or anything. She'll always be there. She might make concessions or compromises or sacrifices, but she'll always follow him. And for that, well, they're a beautiful couple. With a beautiful woman to keep happy, Jojo has to make sure his appearance is on point. Looking good is important to him, and it's another issue the move from a fashion hotspot such as London has thrown up. It's not London. You have to be very selective on what, on what, on what you can find because obviously the choice is limited. I did find a little shop that is um, it's quite good, with a good uh, sense of style. I like some style. Um, of course, he could try very tight clothes and um, he has a body for, for this style, for this clothes, yeah. Sometimes when you go into a shop, you don't have like the right items to go, that go with the colors. So you have to imagine yourself like with something else and see if it works and everything. So it's like a working process in your head, you know. A good friend of Joe's is none other than Tyson Beckford, one of the world's most successful male models. And maybe that's where he's getting most of his fashion tips from. I met him in um, an event in London. Like it was an art event that we went to and um, we met and we just chatted and, uh, you know, we exchange the numbers and start talking and then like it seems very cool, you know, very, very chilling. Like, you know, when I went to New York, we saw each other with my friends and, you know, going out and stuff and just became close like that. He's a football fan, he's, a, he's an Arsenal fan actually, so he likes, he likes to, he likes, he likes the game. So Johan, are you about to take on Tyson on the catwalk? No, Tyson, I couldn't, I couldn't touch the guy. No, I'd rather concentrate on my sport than try to be a model. 
Even if I knew I, even if I know I could, but you know. Despite all the dazzling items on display, Johan was shopping with considered measure, and it took him a long time to find the perfect match, an ice blue blazer, just right for Joe Cool. I thought the color would be too bright, like, but actually, if I like it. You know, when I see myself in the mirror with it, I like it. I can do a little bit of... When I go party with this jacket, it will be all fine, you know, chilling, chilling, chilling. <laughs> Let it not be said that all footballers are spenderholics. Next time I go to the city, I take no cards, no money with me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you soon. See you soon. Thank you, bye-bye. So the emperor has managed to find himself some new clothes and given his wallet a bit of a beating at the same time. But his shopping spree hadn't quite reached its climax yet. Surprisingly, his final stop was a bit more high street than high fashion. Well, JJ may shop in Primark, but you're not likely to find Mimi there. The glamorous mums had put the kids to bed and were on their way for a night on the town, and they looked good enough for the catwalk. We're going to L'Atelier Restaurant. It's a French gastronomic restaurant, amazing. So we go now. Sometime when my friend comes from <laughs> Geneva, she, she comes with me here. Mimi and Johan have become friends with the head chef, Olivier. Nobody knows about this restaurant. And uh, if you want to have a nice evening, quiet, it's, it's good. And especially for the football player, we, we never ask the paparazzi, nobody knows who is here. So I think they like this kind of uh, place. So that's the bar of the restaurant. And if we want, we can organize a party. We can book the, the area for the party. So it's very nice. I love the atmosphere here. And we can go out the summer. So after our clearly exclusive guided tour, we decided to leave our two yummy mummies and their fancy footwear to get on with their much appreciated hang time. So you follow me all days. So now it's time for us to hit. So please leave me alone. See you, peace. <laughs> 